Hello Virgo, welcome back. This is your messages from your divine counterpart reading. So it's for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other strong Virgo placements out there. But it cannot be for everyone watching, so if it's your story, comment below. And if not, you can check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles however they apply to your story. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So to my lovely Virgo subscribers, thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for being here and being subscribed to the channel. And if you are a new subscriber, be sure to check the description box below for all of my accurate social media links so I can connect with you on social media. Um, but keep in mind, you guys, there are still some spammer and scam accounts out there. So stay aware and use your discernment, report, block, send me the information. <clears throat> and most importantly, remember, I will Will never solicit you for my services or ask you for any of your personal information or in general just act suspicious okay no professional ever will do that and y'all already know and it's not just my account it's other readers it's other social media profiles so like I said just don't open any unknown messages or um, leave yourself exposed all right so Virgo if this reading is resonating with you, I'd love to hear from you and get you on my list. I'm still running 50% off special on all private readings. As a token of my gratitude and appreciation for y'all's love and support over the last couple of years, I mentioned I just went uh, through my two year anniversary portal on the tube, which is exciting. So again, you guys, I can't wait to hear from you. Um, private readings have been a blast so far this month and um, yes, yeah, so one more announcement. So y'all know I've been doing the, <clears throat> excuse me, now I can't talk. Y'all know I have been doing the intimate extended bonus readings every month or every season for the top most views. And this year I'm going to take it down a notch and only do two of those readings per season for the top views and one birthday bonus reading for whoever's zodiac sign it is. That way everyone gets a chance to get their intimate extended reading. I know there are some zodiac signs still that have never received one. So I'd like to kind of be fair, but then also so um, give myself a little bit more time so that I can put more energy into my members only area. If you're not a member already of the Spicy Subscriber Society, that link is down below. So let's get right into it. I know that was kind of long, but let's see what's going on with your person. So again, this is a messages from your divine counterpart reading. It's supposed to be about your person, but if it ends up being about you, the viewer, then that's okay too, right? Obviously, cross-watchers are always welcome. So let's see what is coming out here. All right, so all the cards are getting stuck, but there's literally the one card that's <laughs> sticking out. So we have compassion. Interesting. Leo actually just got this card. So we're getting a repeat card. You could have Leo placements, Virgo, or your person could be a Leo with Leo placements. But the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from the source through our hearts and into the world. So your person is very compassionate, caring. Um, this is someone who speaks from their heart, who does things in a very open and loving way. Okay. So maybe this person has shown you compassion, Virgo, um, whether or not you deserved that compassion, only you will know. But your person is coming from a place of love, okay? And bottom of the deck, we have synergy. So the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, 
thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. So basically your person is flowing with the universe, okay? They're not getting hung up on the ins and outs or the details. They're just operating from a place of pure love and flowing with the universe. I love this energy for your person. And look at that, Virgo. I haven't looked at the bottom of the deck a second time in any other reading, but we have realization here. So this could be a realization that you are having now, um, recognizing this energy within your person, or this could be about your person, maybe realizing some things about this connection. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So realization could mean your person has gone through ascension, all right? Understanding that operating from that place of love is who they are, expressing their truth through their heart center, realizing their need and maybe even their purpose in life. So... Seems like this person's got it going on, Virgo. This person is love, okay? That is their energy, love. So the Game of Thrones tarot, we're starting out with the five of coins, but in the reverse. So it seems to me like this person is coming out of some sort of a financial struggle. This could also be very significant if you have left this person out in the cold in the past. Um, it seems to me like... They're no longer allowing their state of lack. They're no longer allowing this missing you or being without you or maybe even feeling like they're not good enough for you. They're not allowing that to affect them anymore. They're coming out of that energy. So your person could, um, again, have struggled for a while, maybe been depressed or down in the dumps about you and them. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. Let's get more information. Ah, what did I say? This person is coming out of that energy and they're advancing straight to the nine of coins. So your person could be a single person, right? I mean, that's what this signifies. But they're also very stable and secure within themselves. They've turned this five of coins completely upside down and manifested financial stability for themselves. They've manifested satisfaction. They are no longer dependent on anyone else for their happiness. And they're removing themselves from any sort of situations where anyone has control over them, which is really beautiful. So let's keep going. What else do we need to know about this person? Okay, so this card popped up on top of this card. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take this card, but we're going to read this one first. So this person could very well be your twin flame, okay? This is the 1111 card. This talks about marriage, celebration, coming into union, starting a family, happiness, all those great things, right? So when I asked, what do we need to know about this person, Virgo, and this card pops up, that's what we need to know, okay? This person, this could be what they want, right? But ultimately, this could be your person, all right, we have the Hierophant right after that. Again, another card of marriage and their higher self. This is about spiritual beliefs and order in the higher realms. This is a divine masculine energy and it's about commitment, marriage, tradition, values. So this person is definitely marriage material, Virgo. They want a commitment with you. They want to have this happy and successful union. And I mean, even the synergy card talks about it. So on some level, this person feels as if you and them are supposed to be in this type of a committed scenario, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else Spirit wants us to know. And you know what? I just caught a glimpse of the um, Queen of Swords in the reverse, which was another theme that popped up in the Leo reading. So again, you should definitely check out your placements, Virgo, um, and watch the other readings that I posted. 
because there have been some themes and you know the queen of swords in the reverse can represent someone who is a manipulator or um, someone very toxic right so you know maybe this person has dealt with individuals like that maybe they themselves had a karmic partner that was trying to control them um, or even just control the narrative right since the queen of swords is all about communication so there's some sort of karmic energy um, that was shown on the bottom of the deck, right? The card didn't pop out, but it's it's worth mentioning, okay? Maybe this person has gone through a karmic situation where they've broken free, or maybe that's something that needs to happen for you, Virgo. We'll have to see. Oh my goodness. Bound chicka bound now. We got the ace of wands. So your person is very, very sexually attracted to you as well. They would like this new passionate beginning. Um, and I see this as the flame being lit, or I should say the torch in this situation. Okay. I think that when your person and you connected in the physical world, there was this incredible spark, almost an explosion of energy. All right. Um, and I'm not thinking, I'm actually, I'm thinking about twin intuitive and something she said the other day, which was that this person, it seems like it's not just about sex for them. It's about the <laughs> explosion or the orgasm within them whenever they come next to you, whenever they're near you, whenever they interact with you, it's like their whole being explodes like an orgasm. Okay. This is an orgasmic connection. So hopefully that made sense, but the ace of wands signifies the inspiration behind all of it, the connection itself, the flame that keeps things alive. So metaphorically speaking, Virgo, this person's flame is still lit for you. Okay. Um, so let's elaborate on that. What else do we need to know? Yeah, we've got the hanged man in the reverse as well. Your person has already gone through enlightenment. They've already gone through their ascension process and they know now the truth. They know the truth of the universe. They know the truth of who they are, of what this connection truly represents. Okay, so they have this new perspective talking about realization. All right, they could have just simply realized that you are the one. Okay, so this could also have been spirit's way of hanging them up by their ankles to make them see, you know, staying in that five of coins energy was really going to get them nowhere. Right. So I feel again, like this person was kind of forced to pull themselves out of this deep, dark place and, and make something of themselves. It's like, they almost feel like they have something to prove to you, Virgo. With the six of swords coming after that, this goes back to that manipulation and control we were talking about. Your person has got in that water Uber and made it across to calmer waters, all right? They're moving away from anyone in their life or any sort of situations that even resemble that queen of swords in the reverse energy, that even resemble any sort of like petty energy. They're done with gaslighting, manipulating, and they're able to recognize those signs now instead of falling susceptible to it. Now they know the path they need to take in order to heal themselves, which is really important. Okay. This person and you could never possibly come into union if they remained in this five of coins energy in a state of lack. Now they know that love and abundance comes from within. Okay. One more shuffle for this person. Yeah, so we have the king of coins in the reverse. So now we have your energy popping up, Virgo. This person could just straight up feel like, again, they have something to prove to you. Maybe they have felt as if they were not stable or capable of um, running their own business or doing their own thing, creating financial stability for themselves. And they had to learn and discover that it was so much more than what happens on the physical plane, okay? The king of coins in the reverse represents someone who is basically money driven. Okay. Someone kind of selfish. We have a uh, little finger here representing the king of coins, someone who is, you know, just strategic businessman, kind of a distorted energy ruled by money, ruled by the physical world. This person had to overcome that, or maybe that's how they're viewing you Virgo. They could be worried that 
you're the type of person that is only worried about money and finances, which could be why they've been working so hard to create this stable situation for themselves. It's like they want you to see that they're good on their own, that they don't need you to complete them anymore, Virgo. They don't need anyone who is money driven or money hungry or only worried about the physical things. They want someone who is much deeper than that. So if that is you, if you know, okay, well, I have the ability to reach those depths and you're watching this video thinking this is my person, then maybe you, Virgo, are the one who has something to prove to them. Okay, so again, take what resonates with you. Obviously, not every single message is going to be for every single person. But look at that. We now have the Queen of Swords in the upright. So whoever this karmic person was, whoever had control over this person or was controlling the narrative, I feel like this person now has the control back. Okay, this person now has learned lessons from this distorted energy and now they're capable of standing up and speaking in their truth, right? The queen of swords is truth and justice for all. Iron fist in a velvet glove. This person knows exactly how to communicate effectively and how to make things happen in her world from an honest place, from a place of integrity morals, values. Queen of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, okay? So in a sense, your person has learned from whoever it was that is considered the karmic energy here, whether it's on your side or their side, okay? And look at that. They're changing their luck. This is all about destiny. Everything that's happened between you and this person was destined to happen, this is about good luck and fortune and things changing for the better, completing a very important karmic cycle and moving forward into a prosperous new one. So I love this energy for your person, Virgo. It seems like they're doing really well. They're learning their lessons. They're ascending. They're realizing what's important and how to take care of themselves. So let's get some clarity and see what is your person currently thinking and feeling. So we have the Empress. So your person is thinking that they are the shit, okay? <laughs> In a nice way of saying, right? So your person is reaching this level right here, ascension, the highest version of themselves. Okay, they know that they are the queen of all queens. They know that everything they've been through has been to get them to this point. Okay, learning the lessons of all the elements, being compassionate, leading with love, nurturing, kindness, abundance. This is exactly what's on your person's mind. They're focused on themselves right now, okay? They're focused on who they need to be in this world. Now, for some of you, this person could be thinking about you as if you are their divine feminine, right? So again, reverse the roles however they're appropriate. Let's see what else we need to see about this person. Yes, they are gracefully dancing through the changes, okay? They're thinking that maybe there are some things that need to change between the two of you or transform and evolve because you can see here the infinity symbol around the two pentacles. It's almost like the infinity symbol is bringing the two pentacles closer and closer together. Let's talk about that synergy energy. Things are just flowing and happening naturally. And even though this person is possibly needing to make some changes to not necessarily gain this stability because I feel like they've already gotten there, but to maybe keep this going, they know that their transformation is what is bringing them to that point, right? It's culminating this grand experience that is kind of like a vortex. They're going to end up coming back into your orbit and they already know this because they're focused on themselves. So this could very well be a twin flame situation, like I said. So how are they feeling about you? My voice is starting to get kind of froggy. So again, they could just really want to communicate with you. Maybe you want to communicate with this person. Oh, interesting. All right. So first of all, we have the nine of wands. So your person feels as if they've been through a lot, right? This is a staircase for a reason. They've been really, really doing the work, um, busting their butt. This is the wounded warrior energy. So we know that your person has the um, perseverance within them to keep going, right? It's that rocky moment. <laughs> 
when he's running up the stairs, okay? Um, look at all the twigs and things sticking out though. This isn't just an easy sachet up the steps. This is someone's legs getting caught in in the, the, the branches and getting scraped and tattered and torn. This is a very, um, a raw energy, okay? Your person is feeling like a live wire, all right? They know they've been through a lot to get to this point, but obviously we talked about ascension, so this is part of your person's ascension process. It's not been an easy journey for them, but they're gonna keep going, all right? Because they themselves feel as if they're nearing an end of an important cycle. So as I say that, we have the death card, okay? This person has transformed. They feel as if they've risen like the phoenix. They know that anything that fell away was no longer meant to be a part of their life. They know that who they are now is someone like this, the empress, who's capable of transmuting all of those dark and negative experiences and creating something new out of it. So with that being said, we have the devil in the reverse. We also have the six of wands in the reverse. So this could just simply say like, there's no dark energy that will prosper against this person, okay? Any sort of devil energy will not be victorious. They will not be able to conquer this person. And this person has dealt with a lot, okay? They could have dealt with a lot of toxicity growing up in their relationships, being manipulated, being controlled, feeling trapped and tied down, your person is no longer letting that happen, okay? They're divinely connected to spirit and they're protected. So this butterfly here, right? Like I said, this card popped up in the reverse, talking again about the transformation that they've been through. Look at, look at what would happen if this butterfly were to fly just a little bit lower, right? Their wings would get caught on the branches, similar to this energy of the steps, all right, your person is rising above any of this tattered and torn type vibe, okay? They're moving away from anyone that is going to try and keep them held down or manipulate them or control them in any way. And again, Virgo, maybe this is something that they're hoping for you if you're the one that's in some sort of a karmic situation, all right? So on the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. So this person has, again, been guided by spirit, they know that this situation between you and them is being divinely guided and that it will be resurrected when the time is right, okay? Um, so let's see what this person is likely to do. What are their likely actions moving forward? So we have the, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so they're going to continue to manifest their best life, right? They're going to continue to protect their nest and um, do what they need to do to make things happen. This is a manifesting energy, a powerful energy. Your person could be magical, okay? <laughs> Your person is a magical ass bitch, Virgo, and they're going to make things happen. They're taking control in their life. Um, they're sexy. They're charismatic. And again, they're right next to this ace of wands, they are a magnetic individual, okay? So they're attracting the things that they deserve in their life for themselves and for their family. As you can see, the snake is tightly wrapped around their eggs, okay? We have the six of cups, which also kind of popped up in the reverse. So your person isn't going to get wrapped up in the nostalgia of the past any longer. They know that this is a strong soul connection. But they're not going to let it take them down, right, into the ground and bury them. They're going to continue to allow themselves to grow and prosper based on this connection, okay? They are definitely... Um, like I said, they're aware of the memories that the two of you share. They know that this connection is real, that it's been divinely guided, but there's some element from the past that needs to be overcome, okay? So with the 10 of cups popping up, and sorry, I think this card actually popped up in the upright, but I was twisting it around. So maybe this could be very significant, right? Your person could be... Um, they could be ending some sort of a long-term connection themselves, or this could be simply saying that your person is no longer um, depending on some sort of fairy tale happy ending with you, okay? Maybe they know that it's gonna require some work on both ends still, right? They're not all the way up the steps. They haven't reached the 10. So there's sort of this underlying element of maybe 
another cycle that needs to happen between the two of you before this happy ending can come into place. But either way, the Ten of Cups suggests reunion, happiness, emotional fulfillment, family. All right, so this is all in the back of your person's mind, but they're not allowing it to control them anymore, okay? Maybe that is what the control was about. Maybe this person in their had it in their mind, at least, that this happy ending had to happen, or maybe they had some sort of um, very specific plan or details on how it was going to happen, but Spirit keeps showing them it's not up to you. It's not in your hands. It's not for you to figure out every detail. This person is learning how to trust the universe and flow, okay? Regardless of what they wanted or whatever their happy ending might be, they're leaving it up to the universe. They're putting it in God's hands, okay? And let's see. I forgot one more thing. <laughs> what is this person's desired outcome? So we have the two of wands and the six of swords. The six of swords already came out in this person's reading. But this is telling me that your person is, is looking towards their future. They're planning the next steps. They're at a little bit of a crossroads right now. They need to decide how they want to proceed. But the only way to proceed is to continue healing. Okay, this could be their own personal healing journey, staying away from that stank energy we talked about before, but this could also be their desire for you to decide, for you to heal. All right, Virgo, depending on who's in the situation here, this person could be hoping that you will choose them in the end, that you will take the path less traveled and actually be with them, moving away from anything else and healing and, and being in a calm place with them, okay? This could be what they're desiring from you or from themselves, so take what resonates, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune once more. So going back to destiny, spirit is showing this person everything that you've experienced on your path is destiny, okay? It's all divinely orchestrated. And that's exactly why this person could be experiencing such great luck right now because they've finally released the need to control, okay? They've released the need to hold on to a specific outcome. They're just allowing things to happen and they're experiencing great things because of it. Okay, and look at that, the world right after it. They're, they've learned their lessons. This is the completion of the fool's journey. It's, it's an accomplishment. It's success. This person could also be looking to travel soon. Maybe they're wanting to see the world. But to have all these repetitive cards popping up, Virgo is saying something, okay? This connection is divinely guided. The messages are very clear. So what's going on with this person behind the scenes? What is their challenge? What is their challenge, Virgo? <clears throat> Five of Cups, okay? This person could still be reminiscing on the past and thinking of it in a way that makes them sad, right? Um, their challenge is to not get over it, but why did I just hear that? Maybe their challenge is to get over it, right? In the nicer way of saying it though, please. <laughs> so their challenge is to move past their grief of the situation, maybe the things that didn't work out, and to change their focus on themselves, on their future with or without you, Virgo. We also have take the lead, which is the three of wands, the next step from the two of wands. So maybe this person has been waiting for you to decide or make a decision, but spirits telling them your ships are coming in anyway. Okay. Your manifestations that you've put into place and set in motion long ago, those ships are starting to come in. So maybe that is the challenge for your person. Maybe they've been sitting back waiting on you to do something, Virgo, but maybe they're the ones that need to take the lead. They're the ones that need to start progressing, whether you're by their side or not. And that could be hard for them, right? It's kind of like they're waiting at the door, like, are you coming, Virgo? And you're just kind of sitting there not doing anything, perhaps. And they're waiting on you, right? They're waiting on you. So their challenge is to stop waiting, okay? Stop waiting for what you're going to do and take action in their own life. 
And then we've got the base chakra, okay, root chakra, talking about fears and limitations. So your person needs to overcome their fear of moving forward without you. They don't want to. They don't want to leave without you. They don't want to keep moving unless you're with them. But spirit keeps showing them that this journey is about them. So again, it's sounding kind of twin flamish. Um, especially since we got the four of wands, we're talking about this person recognizing their journey forward, um, regardless of whether union happens. It's not that they don't want it. They're just, they're realizing that they can't, they can't make it about that. They can't just make it about that because if they do, then they're just going to end up back in one of those same devil situations. Okay. One of those same codependent toxic sort of dynamics. This person wants you to choose them, Virgo, without them having to wait or string you along, okay? Anything else for their challenges here? On the flow. Success and growth, the eight of wands, all right? So their challenge is to move forward passionately, thinking about themselves, their family, um, to continue to grow and experience the successful vibe of the nine of coins, so I love that, okay? Um, let's see what this person wants you to know. Okay, so we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. So this person wants you to know they have so many memories with you. Um, they're definitely thinking about the past. They're thinking about the, the times that you've shared with one another. Maybe they have been looking at your photos specifically or they have some sort of um, memorabilia from your time together that they hold on to. We also have sunglasses. Okay, so the camera and the sunglasses together kind of reminds me of like the Page of Swords energy. Okay, someone who is observing, someone who's watching from like behind the sun, behind the shades. I'm literally thinking of like someone in the bushes, like with a camera and sunglasses, Virgo. Okay, so they're watching, looking, stalking. We also have the energy of gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So, you know, again, maybe your person is in that energy because they're used to people trying to manipulate or gaslight them. They're probably trying to observe you and figure you out, okay? They're watching you, Virgo. Like, like Michael Jackson. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So again, there, there have been things maybe exposed within this person. Maybe they are able to see some of their own tendencies in this situation, right? The mirror reflects our deepest shadows and darkness. Or this could be them, like I said, really coming out of those sort of connections. Maybe that's why they're here with the camera and the sunglasses because in the past they've been shown what it's like to be abused by a narcissist, what it's like to be with someone who only cares about themselves, right? That king of pentacles in the reverse. So Virgo, this person could potentially have um, a skewed perception of who you are based on how you've treated them, okay? And they're sitting here maybe wondering like, okay, maybe I've got it all wrong with this person. Maybe they are just trying to use me or maybe they were the ones that, that were trying to control me. Again, this whole sitting back and observing energy popping through. Then we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So through this deep recognition, okay, of whatever they were shown through this golden mirror energy, it's like they still love you unconditionally, Virgo. They want to kiss you. They want to be with you. They want to give you gifts. They want to give you their time and energy. They want to be affectionate with you. They're in love with you, okay? So what else do we need to see from this person? What do they want you to know? <clears throat> Palm tree, which is stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So I see this as like a fancy ten of pentacles. This person really wants everything with you. They want a life. They want stability, security. They want to grow with you, and they want this to keep on going and going and going. Okay, they want this flexible lifestyle with you. 
We also have the sword and the rose, charity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So like I said, this person is protected. The sword and the rose reminds me of the queen of swords, the iron fist and the velvet glove. So you could be dealing with the Libra, okay? So addiction, codependent obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. So this person could be dealing with some sort of addictions, right? You could be this person's addiction, knowing that they need to like detach from you and stop being obsessed with what's going on with you. Maybe they're telling you right now that they've been obsessing over you, that they've been thinking about you, but this could also be about you, Virgo. Maybe they feel as if you have some codependency issues to work out, um, or again, with this whole possession and controlling energy, it just reminds me of the Queen of Swords in the reverse from earlier, okay? The, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So Virgo, you could be the one in some sort of situation with a karmic partner, which is why this person has had to go off on their own, okay? So one more shuffle from this. Actually, I was going to shuffle, but then this card looked like it was going to come out. Yeah, we have keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. So this person could be letting you know that that's how you made them feel. Like you were stringing them along, Virgo. Like you were just looking to get your rocks off in the moment. Maybe they feel like you have options. And ultimately that you are the one who needs to make a decision here. Okay. And then bottom of the deck, we have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So based on all of this going on here, your person knows once more that they need to pour all of their energy into themselves. They need to focus on their own healing and their own shadow before anything else can come into fruition, before this union can even be a possibility. So again, like I said earlier, your person's got it going on, Virgo. They know exactly what they need to do now. They are flowing with the energy of the universe and allowing things to happen. They're welcoming their abundance um, and true unconditional love into their life. All right. And then finally, we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So dragonflies are lucky in love. Okay. This could be the energy of your person simply just saying like they're the type that will always find things out. They're the type that are able to expose the truth when it comes to all matters, not just love. But I feel like this person has their shit together, okay? They've kind of cut away any sort of toxicity from their life, um, and they're acknowledging their worth, which is really important. So let's see what this person wants you to know, what they want to say to you. I'm completing an important cycle. Yeah, we saw that with the Wheel of Fortune twice and the the world. And now I have the hiccups. Five, five, five. I'm making major changes to be with you. Yeah, this person had to make major changes. We saw the transformation between the five of coins to the nine of coins. They're changing their life. They're creating a, a life for themselves with or without you in it. Okay, Let's see what else they have to say. Oh, come on now. Ah. <laughs> I am rejecting fear. Okay, so, you know, th this could be the very reason why your person was stuck clinging to this connection for so long, okay? They were probably afraid to lose you, Virgo. They were probably just afraid in general. I mean, think about everything we've been through in the last two years. This person could have very well, like I said, experienced financial struggle, had to build up a business or build themselves up, recognize their self-worth so that they can continue to move forward. I feel like your person has changed completely. When I run from you, I'm only running from myself. So they recognize where they have also been the runner in this situation. Okay. Um, running from you or trying to close you out potentially could have brought you back into this person's life 
even more, right? And you know, if those of you who are on the twin flame journey, you know, the more you try to push away your person's energy or the more you try to run away from the connection, the louder and louder and more frequently the signs and synchronicities come in. Okay, so this person recognizes that they can run to the ends of the earth and it doesn't matter because the connection they feel with you will never fade. Okay, we also have I want to be the person you deserve, but I'm not sure that I can be. So like I said, this person might feel like they have something to prove to you. Okay, they want to be the person that you deserve. That's why they're busting their ass right now. Okay, they want to show you that they deserve you, Virgo. I'm working on balancing my shadow side. Yes, we saw that with the golden mirror. I didn't know what you meant to me until you were gone. So, you know, this person, again, they could have tried to run from the connection. They could have tried to deny it or, or just get over it, like I said earlier. But now that you're not in their life, Virgo, they know what this connection truly means. And that's how they've been able to get on track on their own personal scale. Okay, distance was necessary for me to find myself. So whoever created the distance, they're acknowledging now that it was necessary. All right, separation wasn't such a bad thing for this person. They were able to find themselves because of it. So let's get one more shuffle for you guys and then we're gonna close up the reading. There's one that just fell on the floor and that might be the only one. As my knees crack a lack. <laughs> Oh, manifestation via masturbation. So Virgo, this person is, um, <laughs> they're spanking it to you, okay? <laughs> they're rubbing one out to you. They're definitely thinking of you and your face and your energy anytime they pleasure themselves, okay? And that is a great tool for manifesting. So not only is your person, um, you know, recognizing that they cannot run from this, but they're also now in tune to ways that they can bring in this union, that they can call in this alignment between the two of you, which is really awesome. We talked about the Ace of Wands before, and again, this person is, is very, they're turned on for you. Their flame is lit for you, Virgo. Okay, so hopefully this reading resonated with someone out there. I know it was kind of long, but um, I love you guys. And again, if you feel like this was your reading, definitely reach out and take advantage of that 50% discount. All of my payment links are down below. Just don't forget to include your email address so that I know who to contact. But other than that, you guys, I love you so much and I will be seeing you again soon. Bye.